हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक इज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग सो वॉट इज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस इन द थ्योरी पार्ट एज पर द थ्योरी पार्ट एंड देन आई सॉल्व टू क्वेश्चन विद इट न्यूमेरिकली फॉर बूट स्ट्रैपिंग विद एग्जाम्पल ओके सो वॉट इज बूट स्ट्रैपिंग इफ वी डिफाइन द बूट स्ट्रैपिंग देन इट्स अ प्रोसेस इट्स अ प्रोसेस बाय विच simple language by which simple language is used to translate is used to translate translate more complicated program more complicated program which in turn may handle which in turn may handle an even more complicated program even more complicated program and so on then this process is known as a bootstrapping means as we know that the function of main comp compiler function is that it convert the source language into some targeted language okay and if we assume that that this compiler is implemented that this compiler is implemented in some language in some language say i i some is a, uh, is a language which is uh, written this which is written in this compiler and by using this compiler we convert the source language into a target language then in bootstrapping this whole block diagram first of all this whole block diagram can be represented by some t diagram how look first of all create a t shape diagram okay now here see at the at the sender side what is this, uh, what is sl we sl is a your source language now i denote this source language as s target language as t and this source language is converted into a targeted language by using some compiler which is implemented by some language i then i will this i will denote this whole block diagram by by a t diagram like this or i can write it as like this also s i t means the sender side is s receiver side is t and the compiler is implemented in some i language okay so what is bootstrapping work yeah or how the bootstrapping work the, now see with the help of an example suppose uh there is a uh one compiler is there that in which we have a source language s targeted language t and the compiler is written in some i language now i have to conver convert it like this source language is s t language is targeted language and now i want to this that i want to compile on which compiler so that this language which is uh, so that the compiler which is written in the i language converts into a compiler which is written in the machine language so this conversion this process of converting into this is known as a bootstrapping so how it works now i compile now if i compile this source uh, if i want to convert this i machine i language machine into m language machine then i have to compile this whole this into this compiler in which the source language is i the target language is m and the machine language the compiler which is run on this uh, source uh, which can which translate this machine language into a target language is written in some m language or you can shown like this if this is your question okay if you combine all these three it look like this now see this is first this one is second and this one is third this is your source this is your target and this one 
is a compiler on which we compile this compiler to get this compiler okay so how we uh, place all these things now put first of all this compiler values in this t box like this what we want to get like this s t and m now how will you get this compiler so see here the language which is written here the same language write down on this side okay the the language which is written here note down on the target side and we here we take some compiler which is implemented which is implemented on some language on some language which is will be which will be any language okay but the main thing is that you the source language and the target language will be same as this language and this language means these two language are must be same must be same and these two language must be same so the process of converting this into this by using this compiler this process is known as a bootstrapping now i will explain with the help of an another example suppose uh you have a pascal translator okay you have a pascal translator which is written in c language okay which takes as this pascal translator takes as pascal code as input pascal code i will denote it as pc pascal code as input and produce c as output okay now create a the question is create a pascal translator for this same problem in c++ okay then how will you do this so first of all we have a translator uh, pascal translator which take a p which uh, take as input as which take pascal code as input and produce c as output and this pascal translator will run in c language now i have to convert this c language into a c++ language then how will you do this first of all i will denote this given thing into a with the help of a t diagram how that like this means we have a pascal code as input c code as output and this pascal translator written in c language okay right pascal translator written in c language it takes the input as pascal code and produce c as output now what we have to con uh, in which we have to, uh, what we have to convert it we have to convert it like this now we want a pascal translator which is written in c++ which take as input as pascal code and convert it as c code as output i have to convert this translator into a this translator okay so with the help of a bootstrapping we do it how now see in the previous example uh what we have this what we want this now we have to create this how we create this that this two language must be same and these two language must be same so we create three t diagram like this this one is one this one is two and create third like this okay means one this is your three here one two and three now put the, all the value of one first uh, translator that is pascal code c code written in c compiler now what we want pascal code as input c code as output but the compiler or translator written in c++ now what we do i know that this language and the this language must be same so we place c as input this language and this language must be same so we here write it down c++ now what will we uh, write here we will take as any x language which will be anything java or any language so the answer is that if i have this and i have to convert this then we want the, then, then we want that this translator 
compile onto this translator which is written which we take as C input C++ output and which is the translator is written in X language which will be anything or we can uh, denote like this also P C C plus how will uh, look like this C X C++ and it gives P C C++ which I want okay so this is how uh, this whole process is done by bootstrapping or you can say this process is known as a bootstrapping okay thanks for watching